Welcome back. As you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy here for the Daily Blob where I shake my brain nipples every day to get some of that dirty, dirty YouTube money so I can afford to uh, provide uh, in-person, hands-on technology classes to you folks in Durham, North Carolina. So we do uh, hands-on classes. We're doing a class on, class on OpenAI's API tonight. They are free to the end user. You just come and you learn. It should be a great time. I hope it'll be a great time because I've got to drive three and a half hours just to get there. That's how much I care about providing to you folks education. There is a, do a donor box link down below if you want to help support me uh, in that endeavor. Uh, but anyways, anyways, let's get to the, uh, oh, let's get to the teenage jokes, right? I remember, I remember when I was a, uh, a, 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 in junior high school, one of the jokes was, if you can't keep it in the pants, keep it in the family, incest is best. And we would laugh at that. We'd be like, ha, 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 that is funny because we were like 13 years old and we didn't really grasp the concept of incest and procreation and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, I've been thinking about that joke today as I look at the absolute and utter idiocy of what is going on in the AI world. To be clear, my bias as far as AI is concerned, not AI, LLMs and models and all that kind of stuff. I do think these are important. I do think these are valuable. I'm doing classes on them, right? I think it is significant to understand the AI stack, but it's not what these people are trying to make it out to be. It is not that valuable. And the problem that we're running into, right, in Silicon Valley is they feel that incest is best in the modern world. And so they are just having an orgy with all the other Silicon Valley companies, right? As I've talked about with OpenAI, OpenAI is getting uh, $100 million of investment from NVIDIA. They're putting $350 billion, or $100 billion of investment from NVIDIA. They're, getting, they're putting $350 billion or $300 billion into Oracle. NVIDIA is now backstopping OpenAI loans. Uh, Microsoft owns uh, shares in OpenAI. It's just a complete and utter crap show. And so one of the big issues out there, one of the things that I talk about with this whole AI thing, is you are being told how amazing AI is and how we need AI and blah, blah, blah. And I want you to understand all of these bastards are in the fraud together. This is bold face fucking fraud trying to steal uh, the wealth of the entire world uh, by basically making these bombastic statements about quote unquote artificial intelligence. And the issue that you run into is back in the old days, you know, 10 fucking years ago, these bastards competed with each other, right? Like it or not, you know, Google did try to make Google Plus, right? They were gonna try to compete with Facebook. That did not work out very well, right? You know, you had Google competing with Microsoft and Microsoft competing with Apple and Apple competing with everybody else, right? There was a, it was a nice big old, you know, MMA mosh, mosh session where everybody was fighting with each other. And so that was good, right? Because you, you would get all these personalities. You would get Elon Musk and you would get Bill Gates and you would get Balmer and you'll get jobs, and you get all these different people, and they will go up and they would pontificate and they would say different things. Why? Because different things were valuable to them. They wanted to argue from different positions so that they could get the most value, right? Because they were being competitive. And so you could you could listen to uh, to these, you know, uh, demigods or whatever of the time, the, 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 these, uh, these people that were going out and talking because they would give you different points of view and you could figure out what it was that you agreed with. The issue that we're running into now in the modern world of technology is all these fuckers are in bed together. They are just banging the shit out of each other all night long, right? And so the problem is now that they're having this big ass love fest, they are now all coming out and they are all on the exact same page pontificating the exact same horseshits because they are all now part of that fraud. Instead of different frauds, instead of Microsoft doing a fraud, you know, doing their vaporware horse crap and Apple doing the fraud where they're doing their weird stuff and all these different companies doing their own frauds. Now they're in this one massive fraud together. And then you go out and you listen to the news and when they all agree, they all agree how important and how valuable artificial intelligence is, well, don't you have to agree with them? No, you don't. You can look at the fucking fraud. You can look the bastards in the face and you can say, shut the fuck up, you degenerate pieces of crap that are trying to destroy our society just so you can get a little bit extra blood money. <clears throat> you can't say that. <sighs> and then you can get fired, then you can get fired. So that's why I say it. Why do I say these things? I say these things because 
you got to worry about a mortgage. Anyways, this has come from Reuters. Not a lot to say, but it's the same fucking idiocy every goddamn day, right? These fucking syphilitic perverts every day trying to shove this AI crap down your throat because by God, because by God, if they don't bankrupt your grandparents so they can make another couple of billion dollars, then why the hell do they wake up in the morning? Anywho, Anthropic Google intox on cloud deal worth tens of billions of dollars. And again, that's the important thing. Wait a minute. Google has Gemini. Right? Isn't that interesting? Google has Gemini, where they're trying to compete in the AI space. At the exact same time, they're servicing Anthropic for tens of billions of dollars worth of cloud infrastructure. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. Because then they can come together to talk about how valuable AI is. Anyways, AI startup Anthropic is in talks with Google to secure additional computing power valued in the high tens of billions of dollars, Bloomberg News reported on Tuesday, citing people familiar with the matter. The deal, which has not been finalized yet, includes Alphabet's Google providing cloud computing service to, to Anthropic, according to the report. Anthropic, which counts Google and Amazon.com as its major investors. So wait a minute, Google is creating AI with their Gemini thing, but then Google is also investing in Anthropic, but then Anthropic is they going to be paying Google tens of billions of dollars. Oh no, this shit makes sense. No, no, you lie. That is exactly how the capitalist system should work. Fuck. You know, you know, jackasses, it makes it really hard for me to argue against this being quote unquote late stage capitalism. To be clear, this isn't late stage capitalism, but for the folks that don't really understand what's going on, when you see shit like this, it really makes it looks like, look like it's that capitalist in the game. So could you please, please stop? No, you're not because you're perverts, you're syphilitic bastards. Anyways, uh, which counts? Google and Amazon.com has its major investors, is a creative cloud chatbot and competes with OpenAI's ChatGPT for AI dominance. Because again, in the modern world, everything is about dominance. Anthropic is projecting to more than double and potentially nearly triple its annualized revenue run right next year, fueled by the rapid adoption of its enterprise products Reuters had exclusively reported last week. The other interesting thing to be thinking about this with too is think about how many employees Amazon has and think about how many employees Google has. How many of those employees <laughs> are then using like Claude Code. Now, to be clear, I've heard Claude Code is amazing. I have heard almost nobody complain about Claude Code. Almost everybody seems to love Claude Code. It's one of the few things all geeks can seem to agree on. It's like VS Code and Claude Code, those are great products. But I do want you to think about it. Wait a minute, so Google invests in Anthropic. Google then has their employees pay for Anthropic products, and then, then, then Anthropic then buys tens of billions of dollars from services from Google. Yeah, does that, does that make you feel comfortable? <laughs> oh, Eli, this is not a bubble. Eli, this is not a bubble. It's so much worse than a bubble. <laughs> you wish it was a bubble. You wish it was a bubble. So anyways, I don't know. This is the latest idiocy going on, uh, Anthropic buying tens of billions of dollars of Google services. What do, you, what do you think about this? What do you think about this complete and utter idiocy of the whole AI financial economic horse crap? I don't know, put your thoughts down below. If you like my videos, give us a thumbs up. If you hate these videos, give us a thumbs down. Call me amazing, call me a dumbass. Just be a real luttnik and do it down there in the comment section. Do you remember I do uh, Silicon Dojo, silicondojo.com, free to you. And these are hands-on technology education classes that empower you to do whatever the hell it is that you wanna do in Durham, North Carolina. I am literally, after I do these videos, <laughs> driving three and a half hours to Durham uh, so I can teach the classes. Uh, if you're interested, go to siliconedojo.com to see the new classes that are coming up. I should be publishing two more uh, today. That should be coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, do remember, free the end user is not actually free. Uh, there's a donor box link down below if you actually want to support what I'm doing. And with that, see y'all later.